Hello Amazon shoppers, today I'm going to be reviewing an epilator by Braun. Uh, I chose model 5280 for my first foray into epilation. I wanted to try epilation because I've done basically everything else and I haven't really been satisfied with any of the other hair removal methods. Uh, dilapidatory creams give me rashes, I've got really sensitive skin so it doesn't work out so well. Shaving, I get razor burn, I hate having to do it every other day, I'm not lazy. I would just much rather spend my time doing something else. Um, I actually really do like waxing. The It's my method of choice. Uh, the two problems I have with it is that at home it's actually pretty messy to do, and so I don't like doing it at home. And I can't always afford to do it at the salon because it's $60 every eight weeks. That's a lot of money for me. I don't want to have to spend that much. So when I heard about epilating, it seemed like a great alternative that I can do at home with less mess and I love the idea of not having my hair grow back in as thickly and as dark because dark hair, super pale skin, really stands out. It's disgusting. I hate it. Um, that said, I'm also kind of a pansy, so I was really nervous about epilation because what it really means is motorized tweezing. It sounds kind of terrifying and that's not entirely unjustified. So when I picked the 5280, I made sure that it came with this little shaving head um, because I was hoping that if I had the shaving head, I would at least be able to use the epilator for a daily shaver if I chickened out of epilating. It won't work for that. When you use the shaving head, it doesn't actually get all the way down to the skin. You have stubble even right after you've shaved, seriously not even five minutes later. And so that just wasn't good enough for me for a daily shaver. What it was great for, though, is preparation for epilation. With epilation, it's really important that you have your hair at the ideal length because it hurts a lot more. It's a lot less forgiving than waxing when it comes to hair length. This will help so that there's less hair to pull your first time and while still leaving enough hair to make a difference. Um, and also make sure that the hair that's there that it does grab is the right length to pull. Um, I still had great results from the epilator. Even after using this, I had a ton of hair come out with that. Um, and it's a lot smoother afterwards. So still worth it. And while you're adjusting your pain tolerance to the right level to handle it, totally a good idea. Um, the other thing I really like about the shaving head is it actually comes with a little trimmer attachment. So if you've got another area of your body where the hair is just too long and you want to make it a little bit less unruly but you're okay with still having some hair, the trimmer attachment is great. For me, it left my hair too long for epilation. It was still too painful after using the trimming attachment. I did actually have to go all the way down. Um, but I did really like the trimming attachment for another area. Um, trimming attachment aside, Let's go ahead and look at the epilator itself. The epilator comes in two speeds. The first one they call gentle. Kind of loud. The second one, a little louder. Um, they actually refer to that as the efficiency mode. I'm pretty sure efficiency is their code word for painful. <laughs> um, the faster mode is definitely, definitely more painful to do as you're going along. Um, the other thing that they use the term efficiency for is the alternative cap, which looks like this. Um, it doesn't, what it's missing is the little roller balls that this one has, so by holding that, see the little pink things, the spiky rollers? Those are supposed to vibrate and help massage your skin. I didn't actually notice the difference between the two. Um, this one is supposed to pull them faster and better. I couldn't tell the difference personally. Could be just me being weird, but couldn't tell. Um, whichever head you decide to use, I think you'll get the same amount of hair either way. I got the same amount of hair, same amount of pain. Um, the thing that stays on, so if you can actually pop the caps off and switch them, it takes a little effort, as you can see. is this piece. So when you look at it, the silver parts are the metal tweezer parts. They move back and forth. 
they grab hair and trap it by pushing it up against the little white plastic pieces. Um, and then this part is what is spinning, and it's spinning so fast that it rips the hair as soon as it's trapped. And that's how the epilator works. And it's every bit as painful as that description makes it sound like it would be. Um, so just be prepared. I would say it's a little bit more painful than waxing when it started. I think it's still bearable. You might disagree. Um, tips for a first time epilator to help reduce that pain, because I know I would have loved these. Um, first of all, using the cooling glove beforehand, completely useless. It just makes your leg cold. It doesn't actually do anything else. I highly recommend popping to Tylenol, to ibuprofen, whatever your headache drug of choice is, pop a couple of those beforehand. You'll notice a big difference there. Um, the other thing that I like to do in advance is I am 21. I'm old enough to drink. I will have a glass of wine. Um, and you also want to follow your standard waxing hair removal practices. You want to make sure you hold the skin really tight. Other reviewers have posted pictures of themselves with these like weird little like pinch marks, rash looking things. I think what's actually happened is that their skin wasn't being held tight and smooth and so the tweezers were actually grabbing bits of their skin. I haven't had that problem at all. I think it's because I'm very, very on top of making sure that my skin is held very tight. So make sure that you do that and you'll probably be fine. Um, the other thing that I like to do is I actually do use the cooling glove. I use the cooling glove on an area that I've finished epilating though. Because anytime you do any kind of hair removal, pressure helps and so does cooling. Um, the skin is irritated and inflamed right after this and so cooling pressure actually makes a big difference there. Uh, the final item that I like to use for pain relief after epilation or waxing is actually a toner from Murat. They're hydrating toner. It's like 20 bucks a bottle. I've noticed that when I use that post hair removal, I have less ingrown hairs. It has less redness. It really calms it down. I love that stuff. Totally recommend it for anything post hair removal. Um, one thing about the product that I thought was kind of a bummer. Um, it doesn't actually seem to work cordless. I don't know if mine is defective. I'm not the only reviewer that's had this problem. So if I try and turn it on by doing a little spinny thing, nothing happens unless it's plugged in. I left this thing charging all night. I haven't been using it today. There is no way that it should be dead with the uh, maybe 10 minutes total from reviewing it <laughs> that it's been on. If I plug it in, it works just fine. Um, the other thing with the cord is there's not really a click noise to tell you when the cord is seated. Um, so you just want to make sure that you really jam it in there. And then do just a little tug to make sure that it resists you and stays in. Otherwise, as you're shaving and epilating, the cord will fall out constantly. I had that happen to me the first time. It was so annoying to have to stop every five seconds to re-plug in my epilator that was supposed to be cordless anyway. Um, so that was really bad. The thing that made up for that for me was this little light. So when I switch it on, as you've noticed, I'm sure, that little light lights up. It is perfectly placed. You will so easily see the hairs that you miss and that you want to be grabbing um, as you're going along because of that light. Like it's perfect. Absolute genius. I've never seen an electric shaver that had that before. If you know of one, if you could leave a link to it in the comments for me, I would so appreciate it. <laughs> um, other than that, I really do actually like this product. I hope I can continue using it and that my pain tolerance will increase. Um, honestly, if it hasn't gotten better in about three weeks, I probably won't use it anymore. And that'll be really, really unfortunate because it seems like such a nice alternative to waxing and shaving. Um, so yeah, please, uh, Comment to me, let me know if you guys have any questions that I didn't cover or didn't answer. I always check back on my reviews and make sure that any comments and questions get responded to. Um, so yeah, just let me know. Thanks guys.